Circular motion is quite self-explanatory really, it's simply the physics behind things moving in circles. When something moves in a circle, its velocity is constantly changing, even if its speed is constant. This is because velocity is both speed and direction, so since the direction is constantly changing, the velocity is also constantly changing, and so the object must be accelerating. And this acceleration is towards the centre of the circle. If there is an acceleration, then there must be a force producing it, and this resultant force is called the centripetal force, and also acts towards the centre of the circle. A car going around a bend is an example of circular motion. The friction between the car's tyres and the road produces a centripetal force. Without the friction, the car would fly off at a tangent. Another example of circular motion is how the moon orbits the Earth. The gravitational attraction between the moon and the Earth is the centripetal force. The magnitude of the centripetal force depends on the speed, mass and the radius of the circle the object is travelling around. The faster the object is moving, the greater the centripetal force has to be to keep it in a circular path. An object of greater mass also needs a greater centripetal force to keep it moving in a circle. And if the object is moving in a smaller circle, the centripetal force has to be bigger because the object is effectively changing direction more quickly, and therefore needs a greater force to produce a greater acceleration. Hopefully that helps you get your head around circular motion. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video and if you want to see some more you can subscribe.